Well, welcome to Cinemag. We're located in Simi Valley in this building that we've been in now for a couple of years. So why don't I take you through and show you quickly what we do, what a transformer is about, how it starts off through completion. Most people want to know what is a transformer. Well, a transformer is one or more coils of wire. This one is wound on a printed circuit bobbin. One of the main applications of an audio transformer would be for microphone impedance matching. The input transformer gives you isolation, balances the input, and isolates the input so that you have uh, fewer problems with hum pickup. Ground loops are eliminated. It can also help with phantom power to the uh, microphone. They come in many different forms, but this is the heart of it, and then you'll see later how we complete them. Everything with the transformer starts off with the materials. They have to be high quality materials. So we have wire here, of course, lots and lots of wire. Everything here is US made raw materials. Over in here, we have laminations. We have many different types and sizes of laminations, nickel, cobalt, steel, they're all processed to our proprietary standards. And over here, you see lots of bobbins, the many different kinds that we use. Now you'll see in here winding stations. And right here, Martha is winding one of the transformers. So these machines are numerically controlled, computer driven, so that each transformer is precisely wound all the way through from the first one we make to the last one. We can make a transformer today which is exactly like what we made in 1970 or 1975. Everything is very precisely done here. She's putting in a Faraday shield right now and that is to isolate the two coils and the transformer. There are a lot of detail in here. These people take a long time, years before they really know how to do this. It's all about craftsmanship. Without that, the transformers are not consistent and they will not meet specification. Here we have fully automated winding machines. We can only use these for certain transformers. They're capable of doing things much faster than a person can do, especially with these transformers we're doing right now for Warm Audio's new direct box. We put on a bobbin, press the start button, and off it goes. A few minutes later, you have a completed transformer bobbin. No craftsmanship here other than the about 1,000 lines of computer code to make this actually work. This can work 24 hours a day and uh, gee, it doesn't need a break. So after the coils are wound, they come over here for finishing. Now with this one, the first thing we do is we put in the laminations. And as you can see here, we have steel and over here, nickel laminations for this particular transformer. So after it is laminated, she's going to come back and she'll solder these wires together. Again, this requires a lot of skill. The wires have got to be put together correctly in the right position, otherwise we don't have a good transformer. Right here, we're doing another transformer, and what she is doing is doing the soldering of the wires to the pins. It's a printed circuit transformer. This one happens to be for a microphone output, so it goes inside the microphone and then couples that signal into the preamplifier. And this has to be done by hand, each one, instead of using a solder pot takes time and precision, otherwise you will burn the transformer, you can get broken leads, all sorts of other problems. Now over at this station, we are actually finishing off the coils that you just saw on the automated winding machines. This is the Warm Audio Direct Box. So, 
Uh, Farolyn, you can see she's soldering the pens right now. And then she'll come back and she'll test everything that we don't have any open windings, a lot of labor that goes into that. And then after that, over here, we get to put in the laminations like you saw before. Okay, and that completes the transformer, ready for the final place where this one goes. I'll show you how that's done. So at this station, we're attaching lead wires. We have many different colors. Each winding that comes out has its own lead wire color. They will get uh, pigtailed on here. And in a second, Jim should have these ready to go into the solder pot. And we'll show you how they get finished off. Now, he makes it look very easy, but that's only because he's done this for many years. First, the flux, and then solder. Trim off the excess, get it to the length that he needs, and back onto this jig, and he will start putting them in individually, taping them down in place so they can't be pulled out and so that they're secure. Of course, in the proper order. Now, after everything is completed, in the areas we just went through. Everything's laminated, soldered, taping is done. Then we have to test it. So it comes over to this workstation where we do a full test of everything. So we're using audio precision equipment here, which is a standard in the industry. Go through a full test. When it passes, then it's on to the next step. So this is the potting room and the varnishing room. Now we've set up a separate room in here because we can get some fumes. So it's a separate room with its own air supply. And you can see here some of the transformers that we've uh, recently potted lined up here. The transformer bodies are in and they're getting ready for the epoxy to be poured in, lids put on, and then pressed down here in this little arbor press presses it down nice and flat. We do it efficiently that way. Everything's nice and parallel and lined up pretty. You want to have a nice looking transformer. It's almost like jewelry to our customers. Well, thank you for coming today to take a quick look at what we have here at Cinemag. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for being a good supporter of all of our OEM customers. I hope you enjoy what you're getting out of their equipment. <laughs>